Alright guys, today I'm going to be doing a video called Magician vs. Gambler. So, I saw a comment asking me to perform this trick, and the thing is, I've already done this before a while ago, um, but the performance is really bad, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a really quick uh, updated tutorial of it. Hopefully you guys would like this. I'll leave the link to a video of Harry Lorraine actually doing it. He's a lot better than I am, but anyways, uh, here is the actual video. Alright, so the way he starts off the trick is he says that the gambler bets the magician $1 million that he cannot shuffle the deck and then cut the deck to a four of a kind. In this case, let's say we're gonna be using the queens here. And he says once he's cut to that four of a kind, he's gonna to have to cut the deck again, that way the deck is mixed up. And then he bets him, you know, a million dollars that he cannot repeat this process four times. So let's say we go ahead and use the queens here. We have two queens down, we have to cut the deck again, this way the, uh, the cards get mixed up. Then once more, let's see what happens if we get to another card and we have another queen, put that on the table. And then again, we have to go ahead and then cut the deck three times to make sure they're mixed up and then of course we have the last and fourth card and he shows them that this is actually the two so then he explains how the gambler uh, grabs the money on the table uh, but the magician says hold on wait we actually have one card here and you said I had to stop at a four of a kind and like you know he snaps his fingers or whatever and the rest of the cards actually change into the rest of the twos and in this case the magician won because he does have a four of a kind and then you can pull off a little ending showing that the queens the entire time were actually in the middle of the deck as they are right here. So uh, this is kind of the way the trick looks like. I'll be showing you guys how to do that right now. So if you guys want to see that, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so as you guys saw, uh, the trick does get kind of repetitive, but you can do what you want with the ending. I'll kind of explain what, uh, what he does. So the way you have to start this off is the way he does this in his performance is he takes the queens and the twos and you only need uh, three queens to start off with and then one queen and if you do the ending that I do you have to stick uh, the queen here on the bottom but if you do if you do the ending that he does in his performance you basically just need four duplicate queens and you can put them in your pockets or whatever and then pull them out at the end but essentially you do need four twos so go ahead and get four twos out and what you do is you set it up uh, face up it's gonna go two queen two queen two queen Two. So just like this, make sure you guys can pause the video. I'll leave it up here, and this is going to be the setup. Two queen, two queen, two queen. So this is what it looks like, and then you stick this on top of the deck. And then so what you do with your setup is, uh, in the performance, I made sure to do a riffle shuffle, but I didn't disturb uh, the top order of the cards here. So what I did was I dropped the cards here. So it's just like a normal riffle shuffle. You make sure to drop the left hand first to make sure that queen goes on the bottom. And then you can shuffle a little bit of cards, but then you want to make sure you have a nice big stack up top so that way the twos and the queens don't get mixed up. You can shuffle that together. And then from this point, you uh, you know just go ahead and do a false cut. That way you can cut to your first four of a kind. I'll leave a link on the screen for that. So essentially you cut to your first four of a kind. Um, and you say, you know what, let's go ahead and start with this card. And then you want to do a double lift, showing the top queen here. I'll leave a link with the double lift as well. So essentially, you're just going to be doing a series of double lifts. You flip over those two cards. You say, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and start with the queens here. So you make it nice and casual so it's like, you know, you didn't know you were going to stop on the queens. Thumb over the top card. This is going to be a two. And then what you say is, um, and then in the performance at the beginning, you tell the spectators that you have to cut the cards after you get to each uh, one of, you know, your little four of a kind here. So you go ahead, you do a triple a triple undercut so you push over the top card get your pinky break or actually a thumb break look just like this and then you say you know what and I always have to cut the cards once and what you do is you take about a third of the cards from below with your pinky move that to the top do the same exact thing again take another chunk of cards put that on top and now you take every card below the break you move that to the top and now what you've done is moved uh, one of those queens to the bottom and then you have to do another double lift revealing another queen. You say, okay, so now we're two down, and then once more again, I always have to cut the deck three times. So then you go once, twice, three times. You cut the cards here, and then you get another double lift, in this case, the queen of hearts here. You thumb over another two, and then you do another or a triple, triple undercut. You move this card to the bottom as well. Once, twice, 
three times. And now what you do is just a single lift because now you just have that two that you're left with on top. You say, okay, the last fourth and final card. And then what you could do is you could act like you messed up or something like that. Uh, but they say, you know what? Um, you know, I told you guys I would cut to a four of a kind and let's see what I did here. And you can snap your fingers, do whatever. And then you can flip over the cards from the beginning, revealing that they're actually all two. So what I would suggest is maybe having a spectator um, you know, if you have multiple spectators, you can have them each holding a card, or if you have a single spectator, you can ask them to hold the cards, but make sure they grip them so that way they're not looking at the faces. So, um, at this point, you could either do what Harry Lorraine did and have, you know, multiple queens um, in your pockets, or since you have all the queens at the bottom here, you guys can do a simple one-handed cut as you're talking to the spectators, and then say, you know what, all the queens are actually in the middle, and they really won't even notice that one-handed cut, and they'll be in the middle, they won't know, you know, how you got them there. Um, anyways, guys, this is the trick. If I went too fast, make sure to go ahead and rewind. But like I said before, it's basically just a setup card trick. You do a little false shuffle. You cut the cards. And then from there, it's a series of double or triple undercuts and double lifts. So I'll tell you guys, I'll leave the link on the screen for the double lift and the swivel false cuts. So I hope this video works out for you. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. She's a literal vampire, belly goblin, bobbling, bouncing after your mama. I